this is the other side of where I was first filming those surface cuts in the contact zone. This is the main vine, vein, main mine I was looking at. It's call this one the 232. Thing is, you pan around. There's some float quartz in there. Float quartz in there. And then we get to that mine. That's the 233. I'm not sure that these... That mine and this mine aren't the same vein system. Let me show you why. Got good rock here. Some of these have some severe, some really heavy sulfides in them. But yeah, this is the actual surface. We got some good copper staking here and there. God, don't mind it. And it goes down through there. There's some quartz. Right there, obviously. Let me come up to here. It's the actual mine itself. I can show you what we got to play with. It's a pretty good square cut shaft. Take my tile off so I can fly in a hole. But here's your contact zone again. There's your quartz. I mean, look at that. I got some heavy iron staining in that quartz vein. So what are we looking at? About four foot thick on the vein, give or take. Come back on this side. They just cut. They just cut straight down. And from what I can tell, my glass is off. The quartz vein goes straight down. It's uh, about a three seconds to the bottom. Let's see if I can find a good rock. Where's a good rock? I want a good rock. There's a good rock. There we go. I'll be quiet and see if you can hear it at the bottom. So yeah, maybe about two and a half seconds. We don't know if it went left or right either. Just know that's how deep it is. But that's uh, your andesite or rhyolite contact zone. And there's our rock. Now, if you line up this vein it comes out here in that direction so it would have to bend a little bit to get there which isn't unheard of but this is her good one I think